I swear to God, if you say it one more time, I'm, I'm going to punch gonna. you in the face. It's the first thing I'm going to say when we talk on this. We're already talking on it. Did you press record? <laughs> you told me to. You guys, many a game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, um. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys. I just want you to know that on last week's ep- episode with my little niece, mm-hmm. um, we spoke about many a game. <laughs> and Which here's, for us was here just was, like 10 minutes ago. Yes. Here's the thing. Yeah. If you're watching this, we're both wearing my high school dresses. Yeah. No. Um, they're Yes. They're a little tight in the lats because we're so swole. Dude, I'm kind of thrilled that I can fit into one of your dresses from high school. 100%. At all. Also, it's the only dress I have that also allows lace up. I love that you were going to just say that. Like, (laughs) I was just so happy (laughs) that I could fit in the dress. You're like, no, actually, it's adjustable. Well, I'm just going to say it's the only dress I have that's adjustable. (laughs) And mine, you guys, I have two and a half inches of zipper that just doesn't really want to. It will not go to the hook and eye. Gina, try one more time. No, I I have to use two. It it won't go to the hook and eye. I go down. (laughs) I just, I can't be less swole, guys. Yeah. I go downstairs is too swole. to get Colby a brownie and get me and Gina a drink. And my dad, I'm like, dad, my dress won't fit. I'm 31 and this is from high school. And he, I go, he's like, yeah, I can clearly see that. And I'm like, dad, it's like two inches. He goes, it looks like six inches. <laughs> Hey. But he did also mention it's because my lats are a lot bigger oh, than yeah. when I was in high it's school. True. It's true. Um, but on our podcast, we hey. went on a small tangent the last about one. many a game. Okay, can we can we just not? We just have to address it. Okay, first of all, welcome to Between the Reps of Brick and Gina. Yeah. Hey. Welcome okay. to be- Between the Reps of Brick and okay, Gina. Okay, back to my back to my grammar. Go. Here's what threw me for a fucking loop. Okay. I have never, in the time that I've known Gina Marie Chancharulo, <laughs> ever, for one, heard her say many a game. Now, that could be because we've never been talking about multiple types of games. <laughs> it's true. That also could be because that is the only single, that is the single only extremely uh, English proper thing she's ever (laughs) said. Like you would almost think, did you hear that on a movie? No, you just kept saying, if you had just said it in English accent, I'm like, why would I do that? I wasn't doing it. I'm just saying, if she would have said said to me, well, I've seen many a game. I've been like, (laughs) I mean, weird, weird flex, but okay. (laughs) <laughs> many a game <laughs> so okay. i do understand um yeah. after we called her sister yes she wanted to call her sister to ask her if it was weird that she said that and her sister response was no like i understand what you're saying but i myself would never say that yeah. so i understand that when you are <laughs> describing many games <laughs> okay you could say many a game. Many a game. Like yeah. I've played many a game. Yeah. I understand that. Okay. Um, but in the from what I understand, your vocabulary. Uh-huh. That made it was like uh, a full on foreign language coming out of your <laughs> mouth. Many a game. I could not, there was not a moment when you said that for the first time that I thought like, oh yeah, I understand. <laughs> I immediately was so confused because I could not understand why she wouldn't have said. Like I thought to myself, wait, are you trying to say you've been to many games? <laughs> and she's like, no, many a game. Yeah. 
And I, I was mean, like, wait, what? And she was like, it's proper. And I was like, when the fuck did you get so proper? Well, no, I wasn't saying it because I speak so proper. <laughs> I was just saying, I mean, people say that. Your mom said like, because she's an English teacher? I mean, I don't know. That's what I was just thinking. I don't, I don't know where it came from. I just said it. It just came natural. <laughs> but you've never said it. Well, I did my 23 and me. Maybe like something <laughs> came through. I told her, and, I was like, if you would have yeah. said it in an English accent, yeah. I would have, I would have probably responded differently more accepting right yeah you know what i mean if you were someone i did not know at all and you said many a game i would have accepted it but i still would have asked i would have asked you like what you meant right. fully yeah well and in this instance <clears throat> i was like what <laughs> it's many a game okay so <laughs> And the entire time we're trying to figure out, I just could not stop no, laughing. She's no, like, oh, Brooke, you just keep making fun no, of me. Brooke, literally, we we ended the lap, last episode. She's been on her computer Googling, Googling many, many a, game. a game. Just trying to figure out, like, honestly, why would she say it? Not even What's trying to figure it out. On? I just wanted one, Where did it come I wanted from? one thing to pop up that used that in a <laughs> sentence and nothing popped up <laughs> on Google. And I understand that Google is not the end all be all. I'm not. Hey. I'm not saying I'm some uh, genius of You're the not. English language. <laughs> Fuck off. I, <laughs> I know that. I know. But I mean, I'm just saying that's, it just, it came natural. That's what I said. And now I I'm stand gonna, by it. And now I'm, 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 I'm going to say this. All right. I'm standing behind it. I hear you. Okay. And also uh-huh. two things. Yeah. One, I'm going to use it <laughs> mm-hmm. whenever the fuck I want. Okay. Oh, many a game. No, I know. I'm going to use me, many. You've, uh, already, you've probably already said it about 20 times. But I'm going to use many, uh, many things. <laughs> <laughs> and number two. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you. Uh huh. For educating me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your welcoming me. It, feel, it feels the You're opposite. Welcome. Thank you. It You're feels welcome. like I've been educated. No, I think if anything, you've only been educated on the fact that like you didn't even deserve to say many a game. (laughs) (laughs) It was stupid. It was a phrase that is uh, is a real phrase, even though I can't find it on Google. You don't even deserve to say it. But you, even your sister was like, I would never say that, and I've and your and Michaela was like, I've never heard you say that. (laughs) <laughs> and that that is why that is why it threw me for a full loop like i did i just didn't understand what you were saying i know i was like who are you <laughs> well apparently i'm are Belle. you from london i'm from london town i am uh okay moving on i'm we're, Belle. i'm bell <clears throat> tonight i'm jealous of of your dress you're wearing dude i'm so comfortable i can just i'm actually spread eagle right now and you can't even tell yeah and are you letting your belly hang out does it look like it? No, I'm asking. It doesn't oh. look like it. I'm asking. Yeah, ki- yeah, kind of. Yeah, and like for me, I'm in here tight. And if I do, <laughs> just, just, it just the dresses are just very different. Yeah, you look very beautiful. Oh, thank you. If you guys aren't watching this, um, in my closet, <laughs> I have some dresses that were dresses that me. My sister has two of them, and I have a few. I don't know, three or four. I think you already said that. I did, but yeah, uh, from high school, but also yeah. two wedding dresses. My <laughs> old wedding dress. My old past wedding dress and mm-hmm. my sister's. <clears throat> I put that on first. It fit. And that's cool. <laughs> what we're going to use that for is I imagine me running through a field and Gina just hammering she me with paintballs baller just in her old me wedding with, dress hammer me with paintballs it probably would bring it probably would make it more beautiful i mean it's so colorful already but yeah so colorful yes what do you do with old wedding dresses that you don't want anymore um i don't know donate like, them yeah but like and then what? At some point, like Katie finds it at like a thrift store and then wears it to like a themed party. <laughs> or we do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean. And the times yeah. change so fast, like styles wise. Mm-hmm. Who's going to want to wear it? I know. I wore this out here. I was feeling so pretty. And then Colby was like, girls in high school wore way different dresses than that. What'd actually, you say, Col- Actually, Colby, 
What kind of dresses did girls wear when you went to high school? You said like slutty ones. M- much more revealing. I mean, there were like a slim few girls. That I mean, wore- I feel like my decollete is showing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> your net, your chest. <laughs> Was it, did I do it again? Your decolette. <laughs> <laughs> your dick is wet. That's what Colby said. Did you say your dick is wet? <laughs> my deck. You know what? I just feel like my decolette is showing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone, you know what you sound like when you throw out some proper fucking terms like that? Like this. Reminds me of an old friend I had. <laughs> You'll know who I'm talking about. Yes. When uh, he would talk about his mom or his aunts, uh-huh. uh, they were Hispanic, uh-huh. and he would always be talking super normal and hipster, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden throw out like a cleaning product, or say a word like horchata or churro, and he'd be like, "Yeah." And then I went out, I went out, and I got a burrito, and I got a horchata. <laughs> I know exactly. Churro. Like he'd only roll his, roll yeah. his R's for certain words, for certain but ones. never in any sentence would ever use the uh accent for yeah. a certain like certain right. letters or that's you with <laughs> <laughs> that's me yeah with certain but words many a, not many accent? A, many a game <laughs> no okay my mom took french in high school or something probably like 2 years <laughs> and that's where it came from no okay continue <laughs> oh, sorry no it actually seems like yeah sorry <laughs> different segue no yeah no so my mom was so yeah. funny because she has no accent, always said, you know, every word American. But then when we would go to the grocery store, she'd say, oh, uh, I'd love, you know, um, can I get two pounds of beef, blah, 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 blah. And then like go to the next counter and be like, can I get um, a Danish and a croissant? <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck? A croissant? You mean a croissant? She'd be like, a croissant. <laughs> I'm like, oh, 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 you are so French. Oh, you're so French. Oh, you want a blue cheese dressing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. Just to clarify, that is in no way, shape, or form. Well, first of all, to clarify, number one, if you're offended, we're not sorry. No. Number two. That is not in no way, shape, or form making fun of an accent. That's making fun of someone who does not have an accent (laughs) and then throws it in seamlessly as if it's normal. I mean, like... Croissant. Croissant. A croissant. (laughs) Many a game. Many a game. (laughs) No. It's going to be a theme of the night. Oh, all right. So the stress is hard to breathe in. I know. Well, this is too, even though it's adjustable. <gasps> okay. Oh, shoot. It's okay. Okay. We've got a white claw down. It's an old couch. <laughs> Do you like my wool socks with my dress? It's very attractive. I'm a sucker for new hair products, new skin products, new makeup, basically anything that's going to, in one way, shape, or form, make my appearance (laughs) or the process of like getting ready better. I am constantly looking for products for my hair, anything to keep it healthy. And really, I want to keep it healthy so it grows. And I have so much hair, but it's so fine and it just doesn't really, you know, it gets really dry. And a lot of that has to do with travel. But I have found a shampoo company, a hair care company, and we've talked about it before, but it's it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic business model, honestly. Pros. Pros knows there is more to you than just your hair type. With their algorithm and over 50 billion formula combinations, pros determines a unique blend of ingredients to treat your exact concerns. Pros has given over 1 million consultations with their in-depth hair quiz, which is how I got started. And it's it's actually a really fun process. Most of the time when I have to fill out quizzes, um, I usually give up and I just go to the store and find something else. But I really enjoyed the questions that they asked, primarily the ones about like the region where you lived. And they really take into consideration 
the temperature, the humidity, you know, all of these things because of your location that affect your hair. Take gifting to the next level with Pro's Custom Hair Care. Get 15% off your order by going to pros.com slash reps. That's P-R-O-S-E dot com slash reps for 15% off your order. Pros.com slash reps. And one more time, so you don't forget it and so you know exactly what to get your sisters and your friends for Christmas, pros.com slash reps. Okay. Hey, um, by now you've already actually seen this on this couch. I am in Utah and I'm pretty sure we've talked about it very minimally. Um, California, I moved out of my house, uh, cliff notes, divorced. That was, took a long time, finished it, sold the house. That took a long time, closed it, moved out, put all of my stuff in a storage unit and was homeless, stayed at Gina's, put some stuff in my car, my, some clothes, things like that, my snowboard, my, one of my bikes, drove to Utah, living at my parents' house, and also, I, even if I was, we were talking about it, me and Gina, if I was considering, do I buy, do I try to get another house in California, do I just buy a house in Southern Utah, do I build a house in Utah, Um, and then I decided if I wouldn't even want to have a house in Utah, like if I'm, if I'm in Southern Utah, if I'm here, I want to live at home. Right. 100 even said that. 100%. Mm -hmm. 100%. I mean, who wouldn't she like, she cooks the most amazing food. Yes. Yeah. And now my parents are going to have two houses. Right. Like in more than that. So I have two siblings, I have three siblings. Uh, two sisters, a brother. My brother's single dad of three. Jersey, his daughter, she was on our last podcast. He, we were talking, we were joking about it actually the other night with my dad. And he even said, he was like, you only have a house to sleep at, my brother. Like if if he, they're not sleeping, they're here. And we love, we, I love it. I love being in the house with all my siblings. And, and I mean, not necessarily all the kids, but definitely my siblings and my parents. <laughs> and so I decided I'm still looking for a house in Santa Cruz area. Um, currently at this time, I do not have one. So I am in Utah. Well, you're working on it. Yes, I'm. it's a constant. I've seen so many homes. I've put offers almost on five houses. Yeah, you guys, California is stupid. Um, when I say stupid, the market. And many things about it could be considered stupid. I'm just saying how expensive it is. You know. Yeah. And yes. How expensive it is. That how part. How expensive that, it is. That is one thing of maybe a few things that's kind of stupid. But <laughs> we're working on it. Um, potentially, if I do find a home there, I will still, I, my plan is to st- still try and split my time there and here. I have naked training. So you guys have listened, if you've listened to my past, our past podcast, we had Sunny Hutton on mm-hmm. and her and Jake are here. So Naked Training HQ or the people who are working on that company and the online program are here in St. George, Utah. So that's really great. I can be here. I can work on that. And then why I really want to be here more is my family's here. So the goal is to find a place in Santa Cruz so I can have a home near all of my family. Mm-hmm. a home near Gina, and then I have a home here with my family. But currently, I am home base in in Utah, but yeah. we'll see. And that's, yeah, that's where we're... We're putting on, I just put an offer on, well, I think it'll go through tomorrow morning. Hopefully. Um, so by the time you hear this, it will be, have gone through last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it's just like a waiting game to see if they're like, hey, you know, your money's fake money and this person's money's real money. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually taking monopoly money. Yeah. Oh, you're 31 and can't pay all cash. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks for you. Can't everyone. That's, that's what has been the biggest issue. I mean, I've put offers on four houses. Um, the fourth one actually hasn't even 
been a yes or a no or picking someone else. They It was an offer on a house that hadn't received offers yet. And they, it was before the house was put on the market. Right. And, and it was, a, it was a good, it was a good great home. offer. Um, no, I meant the offer. Yeah. The offer yeah. was really great. <laughs> yeah. Hence they why still, they still haven't had any offers on the exactly. house. Exactly. Um, and they kind of decided they wanted to, there's multiple people involved in selling of the home and they decided they really wanted to see what it, they could get for it. Mm-hmm. And which is, for me, it's like, I understand that. Sure. It's like, I, you know, it's, it's a bummer. Cause I obviously, I'm like, I gave a really great offer and I want it and I need it, but I understand the perspective of someone really in California who is trying to sell something and get as much, you know, get the best, uh, offer from it. Right. You know, and, and have the best outcome for them, for their family, whatever. And it just has been, you know, it's been a very rough process. So that one, they actually, I had first right of refusal and they've shown it quite, you know, a few times. And from what I understand, no offers have come in. Um, my realtors have kept their eyes open for new properties that have opened up and a currently a really great one, beautiful home. Um, it has popped up and hopefully popped up and, it could be a really great place for, you know, a period of time yeah. in my life. And we're just waiting. We'll just yeah. wait to see. Very close to Gina. That's yeah. like five minutes away. <clears throat> and that's the thing. It's like for me trying to find a home, there are, uh, there are t- freak, so many places for sale. There really are. There's new ones popping up all the but time. But a lot of shitty ones. Most of them are shitty. Yeah. Most of them. Yeah. Are shitty. And I have some... You know, I, I can't, it's like I, standards for one and like prerequisites or, um, well, just, I just, if I'm going to buy a place in Santa Cruz area, it for needs, that expensive, it has to have what you want. Yes. But even more than that, it's like, it has to be close to the people that I'm staying there for. That's right. Damn it. If I were to find something, I mean, there are homes, let's for, for sake, Aptos, right? Mm-hmm. Lots yeah, of but great- people don't know where that is. Okay. Um, okay. From like where Gina lives, it would be it could, well, it could be an hour it drive. Like, yeah, forty five. <laughs> or minutes, it could be like it could be, it could be like half hour to like over an hour because of traffic. Um, that would be so pointless for me because I would end up spending so much time alone, or I would end up spending no time there. Right. So it would be like a big waste of money. Um, so it's really important that I find something that's very close to the people that I am like, why I'm staying there are this few people and my family basically in in California and we're working on it. It's going to happen. Yeah. We're working on it. And my mom, what did she tell you tonight? Well, your your mom was so cute because she said, she said, you know, I know, I know Brooke loves it here, but this this wouldn't be where she wants to live. She's been telling me that since I was in like high school. Yeah, She's been telling me since I was so young, she goes, you're not going to live here forever. Yeah. And then she said, uh, she goes, and you know, I need her to buy a place out there. So I have somewhere to go. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. (laughs) She has so much responsibility here. So it's nice. I think she just really likes getting away and hanging out. So you have questions. I do. Okay. So, it looks like we've actually read her questions before and oh sorry looks mm-hmm. like we've read her questions before uh it says uh this is Alyssa why hey ladies you two are awesome i was pretty surprised to hear you read my question on your podcast thank you for not only reading my email but for also taking the time to answer my questions and talk about the subject of comparison love the podcast podcast especially the part where brooke talked about seeing the beauty in others so why not see the beauty in yourself Thank you both for always being so open, honest, and talking about your own struggles and vulnerability. It's so refreshing. Okay, enough of the serious stuff. To stay with the topic of ranching, here are a couple of ranchy would-you-rathers. Dude, I'm going to be honest. I was looking through this email, and I read them to my dad. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I feel like you have, like, a leg up on me then. No, no. Okay. Would you rather fall face first into a large manure pile of fresh... Fresh horse poop or ride a bull and assless chaps. Well, manure. 
Manure. I'm going to say manure too because I would, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't matter if I had assless chaps or not. I'm going to be off that bull in like two seconds. Yeah. Probably trampled. I mean, slightly injured. I mean, probably trampled. What's the next one? Okay. Have to drink an entire half gallon of straight moonshine or chew an entire can of Copenhagen. <laughs> well, I've never chewed tobacco. I know. Um, my brother chews tobacco. He'd be like, oh, I feel yeah, like I'll chew tobacco. An entire can. Yeah. Be, All, you know what I think of? I mean, is I Sandlot. Feel like, I think of the movie Sandlot when they're yeah. doing chew and they're they're at the the fair. I don't remember. What? No. Kobe, have you seen Sandlot? You know when they're at the fair and he, they have chew in their mouth and they're on the the spinning one and they all start vomiting. That's what I picture. Just vomit. I'm going to say moonshine only because I feel like I have a higher tolerance for alcohol. Me too. At okay. this point, yeah. at this point it would be moonshine Right. at, you know, any point before t- today. Yeah. Either, or I'm going to end up sick. <laughs> it's true. Okay. At least the moonshine might come on a little bit slower because you could pace yourself. I mean, I just, yeah, I think you're going to barf either way. Yep. Okay. Lick a pig's snout or the <laughs> underside of a horse's hoof. Well, horse's hoof full of horse poop and mud. Yeah. Right? Well, probably a pig's snout too. They root. I would probably want to say. I think they're both really bad. I'd go pig snout, I think. Really? Because I feel like pigs are gross, but I feel like majority of what might be on their snout is their own snot. No, dude, they root in the ground where they've shit. So it's the same thing. Yeah, but I they feel like, like they they do like. No, I definitely, but they also lick. Oh, so you think they cleaned it off? For like a, the most part. Okay. Like we saw the cows today. No, I they're know. like licking their nose. They like licks their yeah. up on their nose. And my dad said like their tongues go inside their own nose. They're cleaning it out. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with yours. Cause I've cleaned out horse hooves. Yeah, me too. Well, you know, and it's like you could have a horse hoof where you, if you only had to lick it, a lot of stuff in there could be dry. So you may not get a lot of anything in your mouth or taste and yeah. then pig snout could be pretty salty i mean i like salt i'm gonna go with the pig snout pig snout (laughs) (laughs) i like salt (laughs) all right go two weeks without bathing or be able to bathe but only in an algae scummed water trough for one month oh i'm gonna go two weeks without bathing disgusting i'm so gross i'm way gross yeah maybe a little itchy yeah (laughs) I honestly, this is like so embarrassing to admit, but like I can go like probably two, three days without bathing. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit myself in the face. No, I honestly, only because, uh, I mean, it depends, it depends, it's situational, right? Well, I could go two, three days if I were camping. Ah. Uh. And there wasn't just, there wasn't a shower I'm, available. I'm you know like, you know what you know what I'm you know what super gets resistant me? to showering. You know what gets me not to because shower? I'm unclean. Like I I want to be clean, but I just you know me in water. Yeah, I'm just not like one of those people. Like I love a bath if I have like time to like sit in a bath, but I'm not somebody that's just gonna like just love to like just hop in the shower and rinse off. Really, I did it last night. I know. I mean, I almost feel like I did it so fast and you were playing that game. You didn't even, rec- you didn't even notice it. <laughs> I, know. I think I know. What, what gets me to want to just jump in and rinse off a yeah. couple things. One, like if I don't want to have to wash my sheets the next day or soon, like I just want to know. And that could be because uh, the last like couple of years, I've really been trying to really take care of like my skin so much. I'm always, I'm more right. proactive about my making more making sure my sheets are clean my pillowcases things like that right right right. um and so i think about like my sheets getting really dirty that's why i got in the shower last night i was like ah you know i worked out and i and we we were you know sweaty and gross and i also don't want my best friend to like be like oh 
I can you smell stink. you. Well, okay, but I will say this. I'm thinking like two weeks without bathing. What does that mean exactly? Honestly, I could do it. Bathing, I wouldn't want to. I'm thinking like I use wet wipes on my hoo-ha and my, and my butt. Yeah. Right? So that's clean. But what if you couldn't do any sort of washing? Oh, any washing at all? I feel like we have to assume that this is uh, saying any washing. Oh, see, I was just thinking of my daily life. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that I had like makeup wipes and <laughs> Vagisil wipes. <laughs> Vagisil? I don't have an itchy vagina. It's not just used for itchy I vagina. I thought that was. No, they have just like cleaning, cleansing wipes. Oh. I thought the vagina is a self-cleaning oven. Well, it is in the oven. <laughs> oh, so it's just for the outside? I've never used Vagisil a Vagisil wipes wipe. you don't put inside your vagina. It, they do. It is for anti-itching, oh. but it's just like a, if you were to use like a baby wipe. <laughs> but it has medication on it. Well, I imagine right? if you weren't showering for two weeks, you might have some itching. Well, no, I mean, yes, you're right. You're <laughs> you right might want some Vagisil <laughs> wipes. You're right. That is a good point. Let's come out with a new Vagisil wipes named something else. <laughs> what would we call it? I don't know. Something better than Vagisil. Well, yeah, anything with Vag, it's like obvious. It should be like something that's Pussy like, wipes. Oh, that's obvious. Honestly, it's obvious, but it sounds better than Vagisil. Vagisil yeah, but sounds do you wanna, medicated. Do you want to send your like husband or boyfriend in to get some pussy wipes? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's ask Colby. Colby, if you if I was like Colby, I really need you to go get me some pussy some wipes. pussy wipes. Or if I was like Colby, I really need you to get me some Vagisil wipes. Which one would you feel more comfortable buying? Don't you feel like less people would know what Vagisil was versus pussy wipes? I mean, like you can you can be more obvious. <laughs> You go into Walgreens like a lot and of you're like, I don't know what Vagisil is. But it says Vag, and a s- Vagisil sounds vagina medicated. Someone has a problem. Pussy wipes are like, chicks just trying to keep her pussy clean. <laughs> but which one? You said, then it makes me feel like she has a nasty pussy. But which one? You're thinking Vagisil. I mean, they're both equally like he doesn't want to pick one of us, he feels like he has to pick between us. Do you want to be Brooke's, Brooke's best friend or not? Which, like, real honest answer. Which one would make you feel? I mean, obviously, you going in at I your can't age. Hear him, by the way, I know. Okay, Colby going in at his age, twenty four, to buy some vagina wipes for me. <laughs> well, that's what we're talking about. Like, hey, Colby, we're on a shoot, and I'm like, Colby. Me. I need you to go and get this. He's like, what do you need, Brooke? And I was like, we're best friends. Also, Magina's my best friend. Bullshit. And I need you to get this for me. And he's like, what is it? And I was like, I need blank pussy wipes. Or you were obviously- What would you, what would you Colby, like them to be called? Colby, I need Vagisil wipes. And you were like, Vagisil? And I was like, yeah, I have an itchy vagina. <laughs> No, it sounds terrible. Vagisil sounds terrible, but I what feel if like we pussy sounds what if we, what more if we... vulgar. Yeah, vulgar. It needs help. Right. So Colby's, exactly. Colby's saying that he probably would go Vagisil because maybe more people wouldn't really. Well, obviously, if you're going to the store and you're buying Vagisil, people that you're checking out, they know what it is. Pussy but maybe wipes. People around pussy you is more know. vulgar, which I guess I can somewhat agree with. Uh, so the point is, what I'm trying to make is like any other term besides Vagisil. So right. maybe not pussy wipes, but maybe it's called um, clam wipes. No, <laughs> no. Maybe flower. like um, flower. I was flower actually, petals, dude. In my mind, I was saying flower yeah. wipes. Flower wipes. What if they were called yeah. flower wipes? Yeah. That's Puss, true. Pussy wipes are okay. Okay. The point is here, I guess it just depends on the person. Yeah. That's the answer. Okay. Depends on the person, which kind of wipe you'd feel more comfortable grabbing at the store for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Unscripted. Okay. Keep going. Unscripted. <laughs> <Yeah, it's> <laughs> I have been using BetterHelp now for 
a few months actually off and on. That's what's so beautiful about the app. That's what's so beautiful about the the company. You know, you really can communicate when you can. It's easy to schedule. You can do it through mess like messaging through the app. You can do it over the phone. You can do video calls. But BetterHelp is definitely what I recommend to anyone who is looking for some counseling, some guidance, someone to talk to. BetterHelp has licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBT matters, grief, self-esteem, and they have been so unbelievably helpful, helpful and easy to work with. Anything you share is confidential. It's affordable. And in fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. We want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash reps. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash reps. Okay. Oh. Okay. Lastly. Oh, yeah. There were questions. Although, for that last one, I would like to change my answer. Which one? I don't want to go two weeks without bathing. You would rather bathe in an algae-filled... Scum water trough. You're going to need wipes after you bathe in that. Well, it doesn't say I can't wear my underwear. Oh, because that's going to keep water out of your <laughs> vagina? Well, it's not like my... It's a giant gaping hole that's just <laughs> sucking up water. The outside, the inside outside is going to touch the water. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll go with my first answer. <laughs> I think it's safer. If, if I feel like you'd have to really know your environment, that needs to be elaborated on. What's our environment? Yeah. Okay, Are we Alyssa, in a humid environment? Alyssa, I- <laughs> Are we in a dry environment? <laughs> When it comes to can bathing, we're really just worried about the environment for the condition of our can, vagina. Can yeast grow in this environment? Yeah. Okay. Are we dry? Are we wet? <laughs> Wait, what's the next question? Okay. Lastly, not a would you rather. If you had to listen to one country song for the rest of your life, if you couldn't listen to any other music ever again, what country song would it be? I, I had one pop right into my head first thing but then i had like two other ones pop Folsom prison really? johnny cash really great song i okay what's funny is i was thinking johnny cash ring of fire high five okay <laughs> that's great because we could listen to i could play my one song and you could hear it and you could play your one song and i could hear it okay both johnny cash no i, I freaking love johnny cash and the second one i was thinking Although I have listened to to it on loop and it's very, it's kind of short, is Jolene, Dolly Parton. I know you love that. I freaking love that song. I would. But I think I would take Ring of Fire over anything. Folsom Prison. It's so good. And then also Eric Church, uh, Desperate Man. All right, I have one more. Okay. Ready? Okay. This is from Caitlin Robichaud. I think Robichaud? Robichaud? I absolutely love listening to the podcast. I find myself laughing along like I'm sitting on the couch with y'all. I have a few questions, topics to get help, give you some content. Top, Ooh, thank you. Top three cities that you have experienced for food. Ooh, we need Daniel. I know. Food, wine, gyms, festivals. Ooh. That's going to be hard for me because I haven't traveled as much as her. But um, I can only give you. Okay. Well, New Orleans. Yeah. Man, for like probably all of those things. Mm-hmm. Maggie, hold still. Do you keep pulling my headphones out? Oh, which is funny. She's from Louisiana. Dude, Louisiana is legit yeah. for all of those things. Yeah. Um, well, What's funny is so lay down. a trip that we had, it was 2016, I think. Yeah. We went to New Orleans. Yes. We went on a crazy food crawl. We went to, I honestly, I wish I could remember all the names of them. Uh, but uh, we went to the Voodoo. It was the Voodoo Festival. Mm-hmm. Voodoo Festival. Right? Yep. It was like a Halloween thing. Yep. 
honestly like probably one of the best trips we had we went with our friends daniel and sam and we still have our group chat and we always talk about how amazing that trip was yes i will say the the music festival we didn't go to the whole thing we went for one set we went and saw no. the weekend no you no yeah no we went to chain chain smokers oh yeah both and yeah, they we were two i days. mean they were meh yeah that was the worst I've ever seen them play. I've only we only seen them play what, one other time. Mm-hmm. So, um, music festivals. I have not been to as many as I would like to go to, and then obviously, like quarantine, and everything has made that so difficult. Right. Um, I think that I would love to say we haven't been to Nashville, and I would absolutely love to go there yeah. for the music. Um, and then like Austin when City Limits, open up we haven't been to again. Austin City Limits. Right. We've heard amazing things about that. We have been to Austin now. Um, great food. We experienced that. But oh, as far yeah. as like gyms and music, we didn't get to really experience that. However, the gyms we did go to, we had a great time at. Yeah. So that's Austin, Texas, um, Nashville, Portland. Portland was so fun. Portland's so fun. Uh, New York. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wish I could. I mean, I wish I was had a good memory and could remember and, like all the places that we ate and stuff. I've traveled a lot. Um, I mean, not as much as like a lot of. Other oh, people. Barcelona, dude. Actually, yes. Yeah. Barcelona, Spain. What about what about food? The, the music Sunday in the park. Yes. I mean, yeah. So Barcelona, Spain, sorry. food, music festivals. Um, we were out there and they were doing, it was during the summer, they were doing a thing where it was like every, like once a week, it was uh, brunch in the park. Brunch in the park, that's what it and was. And it was a music festival. Yeah. That's what it was. And they and had, had a ton of food trucks. Food trucks, drinks, and great music. It yeah. was happening once a week, yeah. all summer long. It was epic. Yeah, that was super fun. Um, great gyms. Yeah. Uh, other festival, music festivals, right? Yeah. I haven't um, been to a bunch. You went to Coachella. Yeah, but I was well, there for just brace. like one. <laughs> wasn't a neck brace. <laughs> I went to Coachella. I love that I'm an asshole and just. I laughing. went to Coachella. You're in a neck brace. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Coachella not to go and be at the festival for like uh, the entirety of the festival, or even like an entire day. It was just to watch one set for Dylan Francis. Right. Um. So I didn't experience it in its entirety or even like all the things I had to offer. I really only experienced one area Mm -hmm. for, you know, a couple hours and that was it. But it was fun. A lot of people are big fans of that. I, Uh, we've been to, what's the one in the city? In San Francisco? we've gone for your birthday. In San Francisco. Yeah. Um, Frick. Man. Uh, Can't remember. I know. And that's pretty fun. Yeah. Snow Globe. Mm-hmm. It's a New Year's Eve festival in Lake Tahoe. Yep. Which is pretty fun. Um, it's three days. What I do enjoy about that is the hours. Yeah. They start at... Early. I, I prefer music festivals that don't go super late. And they start a little bit earlier. So like 6 p.m. And they'll go to like midnight. Midnight is kind of like the cutoff. I like that for many reasons. One... If it's a multiple day and you want to go two, three days, you have the energy for that. Right. You end at a decent time because if you're going, you're probably drinking with friends, you know, all that, you know, staying up fairly late and then you still can get up. We went to the gym when we went every day Mm -hmm. in the morning and we'd go back and we'd still leave at a reasonable hour. Uh, (laughs) You can do that the whole weekend or you could do it a couple days and I enjoy that. I like. Right. Knowing that I can, I set aside a good amount of time to go to bed, and for like New Year's Eve, because that's when we've gone to Snow Globe, mm-hmm. you can leave the festival at midnight, like you know, right at midnight. You do your New Year's Eve like at right after, midnight, yeah. and you still can go home and enjoy the evening with friends. Right, like it's still you could hang out at the house or Airbnb or, or the hotel or whatever for another hour or two, and then go to bed and still get a pretty good amount of sleep. Right, Colby, you been to any festivals? No. What? Oh, man. As soon as music comes back around. <laughs> as soon as music is back. As soon as we're taking you. live music. We're going Just to Nashville for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. 
Mike, he, I mean, Finn's been wanting us to come to Nashville for a while. That's mm-hmm. where he lives. Uh, you guys have, if you've listened to the podcast for a while now, you probably have heard about Mike Finn. Really close friend of mine. He was a tour manager for Dylan Francis. He was in the podcast. And he's actually a tour manager for, oh. Why do a, I have uh, the worst memory? A country time? artist. I'd have to look it up in my text messages. Right. Um, but yeah, and I love that. I love country music. And I really want to go to a country music festival. Yeah, I've never, I have never been. I grew up with country with my dad, but like old country. Like some new. Like, well, new is like 90s. I prefer. me. I prefer. I like the old stuff. I prefer the old yeah. and I prefer like 80s, early 90s. Yeah. Yeah. There, but however, there are some. No, there's some really, great ones out there. There are some I just, good. There is so much good music that's coming out in like current. Um, but collectively, I could say early '90s, '80s, and then like mm-hmm. outlaw country is. You could hear almost any artist you've never really heard before and enjoy it. Mm-hmm. And some of the more new stuff, or you'd say, you know, early 2000s, where some stuff was getting very poppy. Right. Not as. To me, it's just nostalgic. Yes. To do, you know, Johnny Cash, Emmy Lou Harris, Dolly Parton. Like I said, I'm obsessed with Dolly Parton. I've yes. watched her documentary like five times. <laughs> <laughs> we want to go to Dollywood. We do. My yeah. mom had a trip planned for Dollywood and then my oh, mom actually COVID. Going, going into this this year, my mom had multiple trips planned. I know. Girl well, trips next and year. Fl- fl- you know, family trips and things like that. And then all of them, all of them were canceled. Boo. All right. Well, you guys, we've we, rambled on. Colby's falling asleep in the corner. I can see him. Um, uh, you know, I got to put this dress. <laughs> got to put this We got to burn this sleep. dress. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for listening, for watching. Oh, thanks, um, guys. Thanks for putting up we with us are, for the last couple of episodes. And to be honest, it's been very it's been a confusing time i guess with you know my living situation and me and gina continuing the podcast luckily she flew out to utah for a weekend and we were able to get some podcasts done um we are working on keeping this thing going really because there are a lot of you that really enjoy it and we appreciate you for that i mean when we started this we (laughs) really did not we thought think, it was going to be 10 and done. We did not think that people would actually enjoy it. So we're very happy that you, there's so many of you that really enjoy it and that you laugh with us. And yes. and even if you laugh at us, like that's, we're happy <laughs> about that. And that's okay. <laughs> you can totally make fun of us. <laughs> we make fun of ourselves we're first. We're totally fine. So when you make fun of us, it doesn't really hurt our feelings. <laughs> yeah, but um, it kind of does. But we are really working on keeping this going, and we're in a little bit of you know we're in a rut. We're in we're in a transition but until we're t- until we can you know I really until I have a place in, in the Santa Cruz area so yeah. we can do this in person and not have to try and figure it out long with distance. Skype. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we love you. Thank you so much for listening. Remember to rate, rate review, review, subscribe, subscribe five, five star, star rating, five star, star warning. warning. And- We will talk to you next week. Talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.